Hello, hello. This is our first playthrough of The Witcher 3, and welcome in to episode 4. Let's jump into it and pick up right where we left off. The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. His mission to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The Wild Hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with a witch. I do really like that we get a recap at the start of every session here. Um, but yes, that is essentially it. The uh, the narrator there covered everything that we had done the last session, essentially, save for the fact that we um, we did manage to travel to... Uh, where are we actually? No, I, I just remember it's called No Man's Land. Um, I think this place is called Velen. Oh boy, there are lots of points of interest here. Um, but yes, yeah, so we are on the hunt for Ciri, but we are not the only one. The Wild Hunt hunts for Ciri as well. So we have met with the Bloody Baron, and uh, Ciri has actually been here. And to get more information, of course, we will need to do the Baron some favours. But before we get to that, uh, we have somehow successfully snuck into, I think this is called Crow's Perch. Ah, uh, yes, it is Crow's Perch. So, um... We shall head off, I think, and, and start doing some bits and pieces. There's a Pella here who the Baron's wife had gone to to get a charm of, of some sort that we found in the host. There seemed to be evidence of a fight. So the Baron has his wife and daughter missing and he wants us to look. And we have another notice spot here. There is also, hang on, let me check my quest log here. Um, there we go. The Baron turned out to be a tough negotiator who knew the full value of the information he possessed. He agreed to tell Geralt on, about Ciri on one condition. Geralt had to find his wife and daughter first. The women had mysteriously disappeared a short time before. Though the Baron had moved heaven and earth to find them, all his efforts had proved fruitless. So again, I said this in the last session, he doesn't seem too bad, but I may very well eat my words uh, the more we get into this quest. But so far, it seems all right. He offered Gretka, uh, which was a kid that was traveling with Siri, like a place in his kitchens and things like that. So um, before we actually proceed on here, there is another quest tied to searching for Siri, which is hunting a witch. So find the witch on your own or ask uh, the residents of Midcops about her. So we're going to, I think I want to track this and we'll track that, but we will also... Um, mark the notice board here because I wish to um, have a look at that. If I can find my way out of this uh, house, actually. Um, okay, so here the Baron is here. Okay, so this is the room that we were in. And that's a closed room. Let's have a look around and see what's what. Baron's guard. Okay. And you know what? I'm curious to find Gretka. In the kitchens. Maybe if we find her, okay, we, we see some stuff here. If we don't find her, then you know, maybe that's a sign that he may have not been so honest. <gasps> Hello! Okay, never mind. Hi, Gretka. So you're Gretka? I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. <laughs> Cute kid. Uh, what else did Siri say? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. Hmm. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Oh, what friend? Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend! She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Okay. Do you know where Siri is? Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. 
but he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Okay. Alright, farewell, uh, Gretka. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Oh, bless. Oh, she's just chilling here. Okay, so... There we go. The, uh... The Baron was true to his word. He did let Gretka stay. For context, if you didn't know, in the last session... Lot. Okay. In the last session, we actually so got Siri to... was here. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay, in the last session, we got to play as Siri for a little bit uh, as a flashback. And Siri was traveling with Gretka, running away from the woods. Gretka's parents had actually um, left her to the woods to... I think not survive essentially and um and the baron is like you know when he learned about the fact that her parents left her out to die um he took her in instead and let her help in the kitchen so that that just seems nice okay um let's use detective senses here okay we've got some clues that's a stash that we can access and we've got bits and pieces let's loot this thing i don't know what this is a spinning top gritka's toy Oh, okay. Series room. Quest updated. Track quest. Where is the secondary quest? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. We should actually make sure we uh, keep our eyes open here. Um, okay, series room. Examine the room where Siri stayed using your witcher senses. Go to the kitchen and talk to Gretka. Oh, okay, so it was part of our quest anyway. Um, having learned which room Siri had stayed in during her time at Crow's Perch, Geralt, for whom any excuse to pour through others' possessions is a good one, decided to search and see if she had left anything behind that might help him find her. Right, okay, so we're going to examine this. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Mm hmm yeah, she's just tossed her clothes around. Loot this. The Natural Obscurity of Curses. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? Uh huh. Okay. To my dear friends Philip and Anna, from Count La Guev... Guevre? Guevre? Whoever? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mispronouncing that horribly, I bet. Uh, Count La Guev, Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of Temeria, Vizima 1265. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one being's ill will towards another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly, commonplace are reports of curses cast unwittingly on oneself or on objects in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases, they lead to harm or even the death of the person afflicted by the curse, or of the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse fell. This is why it is so essential to take preventative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. As an absolute minimum, Madame Amelia Veracruz Leon recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be at one with the world and achieving harmony between body and mind. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Okay, um, let's read the quest journal here. We got an update. Let's see. Uh, series room. Okay, go to the kitchen and talk to Gretka. This, uh, this top though, I think it's a quest. You have a blade oil in your inventory to use it, apply it to your sword. Do I? Okay, oil. Select an oil using the left stick and press X to choose it. When you then choose and confirm which sword you wish to apply the oil to. Um, is it this, Taunt? No, that's not an oil. Swallow? Wait, do we have an oil? Thunderbolt? No, we don't. Do we have an oil? I don't think we do, man. In, um, yeah. Uh, right, this quest item here. This, top. Okay. Hopefully the top is not cursed. If we give it to Gretka or something. Okay, let's go to Gretka here. Hello. Geralt! She's really cute. Um, found this toy in Siri's room. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? 
Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Oh, bless. Okay. Bye-bye, Gretka. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. <laughs> oh, bless. Okay, so that quest is done. It was just to get Gretka her toy back. That's okay, and of course, get speak to Gretka a little bit about uh, Siri. Can we go through this? <gasps> we can! Ooh, into the outside. That's a funny entrance. Although I suppose that might be the back entrance. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's go to the uh, notice board. Uh, we have a merchant and a smith, which is great. Doggy! Okay, let's read the notice board before I get too distracted here. Okay, flogging. Oh my. As punishment for failure to perform feudal... Feudal... Feudal? Feudal duties. A hundred lashes each have been administered. Oh my days. To George of Shrain, Sten Brotus, Brotus the Elder, and Musi Halin. May they serve as a reminder the hand that feeds can also strike its wayward wards. Ooh, hundred lashes. That's not little. Fist fights. Any man who wants to test his manliness by slugging it out in the ring. Come see us and you'll get to fight the best brawlers around. Smithy, Stan, Fish Gulper, Jonah, and the Sergeant. I'll take that. Uh, Gwent looking for new players. The Sharpers, a Gwent playing society based at Crow's Perch, is looking for new members and opponents. Experience preferred, but we will also school newcomers to the game, but not return any coin lost during training matches. For more information, see the club's chairman, Philip Strenger. Known as the Bloody Baron. <laughs> Aha! I like that. I'm going to take that. Uh, I need the Baron to teach me some Gwent tips, or give me some Gwent tips and teach me some Gwent skills because I got my ass kicked in the last match of Gwent that I tried to play. But I think I need to find more cards. Uh, oh, a contract. Okay, the Beast of Onerton. Good folk, that's a vile and dangerous spook, beast or devil of sorts, causing no end of trouble near our village, Onerton. We promise our profoundest gratitude and a sizable reward to any brave lad who can slay it. If you're looking to learn more, come pay us a visit. Ask for the El Alderman, Sobomir. Taking that. Another contract, Shrieker. To whom it may concern, let it be hereby known that whoever kills the Shrieker, the monster that, that's wove its nest near Crow's Perch and has taken to killing both men and beasts, will be given a sizable reward. Take heed that she's a dreadful, dangerous creature, and killing it will take a trained fighter, not just a pack of peasants with pitchforks. Chet of Crow's Perch, taking that. Horse races. If you haven't heard, we race horses around here. Anyone wants to join, come talk to me. I'll fill you in on how it works. But I'll tell you right now, you got to pay an entry fee to race, so if you're skint, fuck off. <laughs> Radko. Taking that as well. Oh my days. What a lovely, eventful notice board. Truly. Uh, right, let's speak to... Ah, Quartermaster. Hello. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Absolutely. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Mm, is that is that done with bad morals? Anyway, what are you offering? Show me what you got. Okay, what does he have? Uh, ooh, something with an exclamation here. And I think this is a bigger saddlebag. No, Guardian saddlebags. 70 maximum inventory weight. Uh, how much is it? 320. Oh my days. Okay. Um, and we have this glyph and the Adalbert Kermis third map. Ooh, buying that. 62, but I want treasure. And then we have pure silver. Can be sold for a significant sum on dismantle into crafting components. Ooh, also, thank you to um, anyone and everyone who has left comments so far and not spoiled uh, the game. I really do appreciate it. And for the tips on where I can find and get silver bits and pieces and things like that, I really do uh, appreciate it. And uh, feel free to leave any comments you have after the end of this session as well. Um, we don't know what we'll get up to, but we'll see. For now, let me look at these Gwent cards. Uh, we've got a Nausicaa Cavalry Rider, Nilfgaardian Empire. Close combat, okay. Unit strength of two, but it has a special ability. Tight Bond. Place next, place next to a card with the same name to double the strength of both cards. Oh, okay. And we have Blue Stripes Commando, Northern Realms, okay. 
got tight bond as well with a strength of four. So that would be good. It would be eight and eight. And that would be 16. Insane. Okay, if I'm understanding correctly. Cynthia, range combat with four. Okay. Um, so I can apparently dismantle. I'm not going to play Gwent for now. See ya. As much as I would love to. Spend hours and hours losing it, Gwent. Um, hello, Fergus Graham. How may I assist you? Okay. Uh, ooh. Oh, this is yellow. Oh, everyone here plays Gwent. Okay. Uh, looking for Master Armorer. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. <laughs> that all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> oh my days. Okay, could it? <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. Sounds great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. <laughs> Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. Okay. Uh, know where the forge is. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Okay, farewell. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. All right, thank you, Joanna. Uh, okay, find a boat headed to Skellige. I'm not sure if I need to do that yet. Yeah, let's like check the. Uh... You catch mice too. Oh, sure. If the mice are big enough, and if I get paid, um, let's check that quest and see what that's like. What level is that even? I feel like that's probably really high. Oh my days! The fists of fury. <laughs> When Geralt found out a fist-fighting circuit was operating in Velen, he decided to test his strength and enter. You must know Velen bots were remarkable for their dirty and no-holds-barred fighting, but to someone who fights monsters dirtily and leave no-holds untried on a daily basis, this was no worry. Okay. Um, okay, we have Gwent playing in keeps. Stepan, Step, Stepan? Unique, Stepan's unique card. Okay. Um, where is this... Um, Armor quest thing. Master armor is 24. Yeah, we're not doing that. Not quite yet, I don't think. Uh, I want to go somewhere with a little bit of background music. Oh my, are you okay, old man? Are you okay, old man? Okay, he, 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 he might be in a, in a moment. Um, I want to go somewhere safe with a little bit of music because I want to do... A wee bit of um, catching up on our um, reading um, because I believe we have a lot of uh, uh, new character entries in our glossary. But this whole. Okay, the town folk are no longer afraid of me. Oh my days, they are all. Oh, is it because it's night time? It's, it's 3 a.m. Fucking hell. I'm just walking into people's houses at 3 a.m. Expecting them to be like, yeah, hello. Hello, chat. Greetings. Oh. Yeah? Oh. Oh, my. No, no, no. Farewell. Not yet. Farewell. Okay, so that's the Shrieker contract. My bad. Ooh, there's a merchant here. Inside this hut. Let's see. Are you awake? They're all asleep. 
Uh, but maybe you, you're, you're awake, merchant. Spot of cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? My lad is not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. Okay. Uh, man, everyone really does play Gwent in this town. Uh, show me what you got. Like to take a look. Okay. Uh, ooh, a quest item again. I'm gonna go broke buying quest items. Religion and life, other. Okay, yeah. Um, I think it's a quest item anyway. 30 maximum carry weight. Uh, man, the one that was 70 was really, really good then. He has Gwent cards too. Zerikanian, Fire Scorpion, Nilfgaardian Empire. Okay. Um, unit card strength 5. Okay. Impera Brigade Guard, Nilfgaardian. Unit card 3. Strength 3. Type Bond. Okay. Uh, Nausicaa Cavalry Rider. Uh, tight bond as well. And we have Albrich. Uh Okay, with a strength of two. Right, let us... Uh, I'm going to buy this and just leave it for now. Okay, farewell. Farewell. Okay, let us read the... I think we'll read that book and then read the... Um, the... What's it? The thing that we bought, the map. Uh, let's see here. Adalbert Kermith's third map, yeah. Let's see. As per Professor Atemstein's instructions, I will not be conducting further explorations of the sites where I discovered pictograms relating to the cat school of witches. These pictograms are identical to the one which the professor found in the caverns underneath Temple Isle. Adalbert Kermith, adjunct in nat natural history at the Oxenfurt Academy. Okay. Religion and life. And should we thus submit our life to religion, or should we interpret religion so that it serves our lives instead? There are as many schools as there are philosophers, as many stories as there are human beings. And let us not forget elven beings, nor dwarven, halfling, gnomish ones, nor any such any other such sapient creatures familiar with the quandaries of the soul. I, for my part, having survived now more than 120 years, vodka and radishes work wonders, lend no credence to anyone who claims differently, can swear with all certainty that there is no way to reconcile everyone at once, and what pleases one will provoke whinging and sulking in another, and will undoubtedly cause a third to reach for his knife if it dares depart from his known. Narrow world by so, so much as a hand what then are we to do? How should we live? Why, as we like, as our soul urges, disregarding all the brayings of philosophers and ethicists, those contained in this tome included, disregard them as we would fairy tales or old wives' legends. Okay. Um, and we got all these bits that we picked from the unnoticed board. Okay. Scavenger hunt, cat school gear. Oh, is that um, level appropriate right now? Secondary quests. Um, treasure hunts, there they are. Oh, that is not level appropriate. No, no. Okay, well, in any case, let's do... Uh, oh, cat school gear upgrade diagrams. Okay, so let's track on our map the witch. Where do we have to go for this? Uh, hunting a witch next to a notice board. We love to see it. Okay, we're going to mark that here. And I think, again, we do love Roach. Best boy ever. But uh, I will just... Uh, I think I'm just going to hook it for now. Okay, uh, no arrow. Okay, this music here. What is happening here? Oh my days, sir. Well, good day to you too. Uh, I'm going to stand here by the river because uh, there's music here and look at this lovely sunrise uh, and we're going to read our uh, glossary for a bit because there have been so many character upgrades here not upgrades, uh, entries um, and they also update from time to time um, and I just want to catch up and make sure that we're all up to speed and I know who's who and whatnot. Okay, Anna Stranger, that's someone that we're looking for. Uh, Geralt did not meet Anna Stranger, the Bloody Baron's wife, when he visited Crow's Perch. Some time before his arrival, this woman had disappeared in unexplained circumstances along with her daughter, Tamara. Geralt did, however, receive a detailed description of the missing woman. Anna was a comely 40-something woman with green eyes and dark hair, and hair dark as raven's wings, which she kept tied in tight bun behind her head. Okay, 
We have Cirilla. Okay, so did series one get upgraded? Um, I think she did. Even Geralt. Crow's Perch. Oh, okay. This man treated Re reports that Siri had spent time in Crow at Crow's Perch proves true. She was there as a guest of the local warlord, Philip Strenger, also known as the Bloody Baron. Despite his violent moniker, this man treated Siri with kindness and respect that he did. Um, okay, so we've read the second, the updated bits already. Dandelion. Uh, I don't think we get any update there. Amir, Va, and Reese. Okay. Few names in the continent's history arouse as much terror and respect as that of Amir, Va, and Reese. Daitwan, Adan, Yin Khan, Ape, Morvud. I have completely butchered that, I'm sure. The white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Matina, Ebbing, and Gamera. Sovereign of Nazea and Vikovaro. He was ruler of half the civilized world and a Aspiring conqueror of the other half. He was a personage. Personage? I think. Personage. He was a personage whose deeds and decisions shaped the fates of whole kingdoms and populations. What then could he possibly want of a simple witcher? The emperor clearly and succinctly laid out what he wanted. His daughter and Geralt's ward, Cirilla, was in great danger for the wild hunt was on her trail. Geralt, a superb tracker linked to Amir's daughter by the iron bonds of destiny, stood a better chance of finding her than anyone else in the world. And she's looking for us too, so hopefully we'll find her soon. Um, Esco, we've read. Geralt, okay. Um, I think... I think we've read that. There's no updates there. Hendrik, uh, who unfortunately did not survive the hunt. Hendrik, considering the way spy corps of all stripes tend to function, or spy corps of all stripes tend to function, Hendrik was undoubtedly not this man's real name. Nevertheless, that was the only appellation the Witcher knew for his Imperial Majesty's nose to the ground in Velen. After asking around, Geralt learned that a Hendrik lived in the village of Heatherton. Heather Heatherton. Sadly, Geralt arrived too late. The village had been ravaged, its inhabitants slaughtered, and Hendrik's service to Nilfgaard terminated in the most violent and disturbing manner. Yet, the agent showed such determination before he died that Vatier de Redou, chief of the Imperial Spy Corps, surely beamed with pride if he ever heard of it. Despite undergoing horrific tortures, Hendrik preferred to die in agony rather than reveal where he hid his reports. They remained in his hut for Geralt to find, providing him with several pieces of information. Important information. Yeah, Hendrik was a, a champ. Lambert, we've read. Okay, Morvren Voris. This was the man who interrogated us when we were getting our haircut. Morfren Voris, a commander, Voris maybe, a commander of the Alba Division, an officer of the highest rank and a pure blooded aristocrat, one with pride, who with pride could call himself a Nilf Guardian, a designation reserved only for native born inhabitants of the Empire's capital and its immediate surroundings. At the time of their first meeting, Geralt had no idea what an important person had been assigned the task of asking him a few routine questions. Knowing the Witcher, however, knowledge of Morvrin's rank and status would not have made much of a difference. Yeah. Um, okay, and we have Tamara Strenger. The Baron's daughter Tamara, 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 had disappeared with her mother some time before Geralt arrived at Crow's Perch. The Baron described her as, char as a charming young maid of 19 summers and the apple of his eye. No wonder, then, that the Lord of the Crow's Perch was desperate to find her. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> a couple more here. The Bloody Baron. During his first encounter with Baron Philip Strenger, Geralt found the man's many contradictions puzzling. This former Temerian soldier was clearly an opportunist who, after his army's resounding defeat, served, dealt, and negotiated with the occupying empire of Nilfgaard. The local peasantry anointed him the Bloody Baron, a clear indication that he did not handle his vessels with kid gloves. On the other hand, he proved a surprisingly gracious host to an unexpected guest who was also a stranger and a hired monster slayer. His treatment of children and young women towards whom he demonstrated a wholly sincere, near fatherly concern likewise contradicted his bandit-like appearance and terrifying moniker. Siri had learned this for herself, finding care and shelter under his roof. 
In exchange for information about Cyrilla, the Baron asked Geralt to find his wife Anna and their daughter Tamara. Both had disappeared without a trace some time ago and Philip was so slowly losing hope of ever seeing them again. Under these circumstances, a witcher was a gift from the gods. Yeah, yeah, he seems like a nice guy. He kind of reminds me. I don't know if I mentioned this last time when we met him, but he sort of reminds me of Robert Baratheon in Game of Thrones. Or at least how he was depicted in the show. A little bit, you know what I mean? Um, the Peller. Okay, we've not met him yet, but as is often the case with charmers, diviners, healers, and other such cunning folk of the countryside, the Pella of Blackbow was a man of mystery around whom circled a great many rumour and legend. Oh, circle a great many rumours and legends. Some claimed he could commune with the dead. Others, that he had a different sort of familiarity with the grave, having put an axe in his father's head in a fit of rage when he was a young man. Still others said he showed an indecent fondness for barnyard animals. All these rumours aroused the fear and respect of the backwater peasants of Velen, and the Pella most likely did little to discourage them. Alright. And we have Triss Marigold, which I have not met, um, but I know she's been mentioned a couple times here and there, uh, and it's a little bit spicy, but uh, I think we had read this, but I'll read it again here. I always considered it a point of particular pride to count Triss Marigold of Maribor among my closest and dearest friends. This exceptionally talented sorceress was a shining star of her profession. The former mage advisor to King Foltest and a famous hero of the Battle of Sodden, known as the 14th of the Hill. Yet in no way did she resemble her often unbearably haughty sisters in magic. Her deft mind, warm smile, and even considerable personal charm had always won over over even the hardest of hearts. Though my personal relations with Triss never ventured beyond the fraternal, Geralt of Rivia at one point found her allure irresistible. From then on, the two shared feelings that ran far deeper than a superficial and fleeting fancy. Yennefer told Geralt that Triss had recently taken up residence in the free city of Novigrad. I don't know how Yennefer fe I don't think Yennefer likes it very much in the sense of uh, anything outside of business. It's uh, no... Nothing, nothing else to say there, I think. Um, okay. And <clears throat> I think there's all us all caught up with the uh, character log here. Brilliant. Thank you for having that little reading time with me. Now we will venture forth into uh, hunting a witch. We'll see and we'll pick up all the herbs along the way and not use them. I do need to, I think, actually my inventory 82 out of 120, a little bit full. Um, I'm going to try to find a, um, like a waypoint, like a post. Oh, I see, I see a red dot. What are they? What are they? Oh my days, they sound so close. Okay, quen up, quen up, quen up, quen up. I think it's those little nibbler things. A necker. Okay. Uh, right. Well, here we go. <laughs> Opa. Okay, don't do that, sir. Don't do that. Oh my days. The swarm. They're swarming. They're swarming. They're swarming. They're swarming. Do I have quen up? Do I have quen up? Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're not fine. We're 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 fine. To fight to kick off the day, huh? Whoppa, don't hit me. Okay, we're good. Oh, my days. Okay, truly, nothing like a fight to kick off the day. <laughs> oh, my days. Okay, uh, neck of blood. Okay, lots of blood and claws. We'll take it all. And this here as well. A heart. Lovely. Um, not bad. We didn't take any damage. Oh, there's something else here more of those uh, wretched things okay what are you sir oh you're gonna pop up somewhere where are you gonna pop up oh don't hit me sir oh they took quite off that's how good they're dead now any loots Oh no, the little struggle. Oh my days, okay. <laughs> An eyeball, lovely. 
Okay, uh, let's keep going. I see, I think a body of water. Maybe some drowners here. No, <laughs> loads more of these things. Fucking hell. Lots and lots of uh, these guys around, huh? Okay. Well, the, the, our bestiary said that we want to watch out for swarms because these things don't mess around when they gather in numbers. Okay, lovely. And... Uh, oh, I did not loot. My apologies. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, what did we get? Lesser... I think it's a mutagen. Um, oh, 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 there are a lot of them here. Oh, my days. Something vibrated and I don't like it. What was it? I mean, my controller vibrated, but why? Is it because there are loads of these guys here? <laughs> Fucking hell, there are a lot of them here. Maybe I'm not going to go into that, hey? I'm going to go the other way where the quest is and not get distracted. Um, let's go this way. And we need to find a... Ooh. Oh my days, he followed us. Okay, okay, calm down. Alright. Another mutagen. Okay, I suppose I can craft some uh, potions and things uh, with all the mutagens we find. Okay, more water. We could have followed the uh, waterfront, I suppose, to get here. Just the... Ooh, something. Why does it vibrate? Is it? Does it mean that we found something or...? Never mind, I'm gonna keep going. Maybe danger? Oh, 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 maybe, maybe danger indeed. What is, what is here? Oh my days, bandits, okay. Do we have archers? I think we have archers, yeah. Okay. Okay, we need to, uh, we need to swap out our, uh, skills here. Wow, so you are relentless. Oh, you took off my cleanser. Not bad. Oh my days, I took your arm off for that. Oh. Oh my days. Fucking brutal that is. Some oil. A grilled chicken sandwich. I'll take that. Oh my days. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, I don't have any way to show this, I don't think, but I forgot to mention at the start. So this is, uh, I did mention that this is our first playthrough, but in case you didn't know and you're just popping in and this is your first time watching the series, uh, we are playing on Deathsmart, which is why I'm playing maybe a little bit, um, carefully, because I think most things, uh, I think most things will take us out in like two to three hits. Until I find more upgrades to my gear and things. But I think by the time I get there, probably the monsters will have upgraded as well. So, um, but yes, it's it's been fun so far. I think I've died a couple of times here and there, but uh, not the end of the world. Miss, the cows are wheezing, won't rise from the barn floor, pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. <laughs> I've had my fill for the day. Go home. Hmm. Okay. We were just uh, chilling and listening. We best come back. Let's. Uh... Going home. Oh, is she the witch? Oh my days! This is the uh, the quest. Okay, okay. My bad. I didn't even realize that. Is this is is this the the quest? But why is my marker all the way there? Did I mark the wrong location? Oh, um, actually, we'll come back here because I want to go to that notice board. That's probably why I marked it there. Um, and there might be a, 
away points that we can use to travel. So, or signpost, I don't know what it's called. Um, okay, looks like a town. Let's go here. I see a signpost, so we can absolutely use that. Pretty nice looking town from what I see. Velen Midcops, yeah. Okay, so I think we ran into the witch before we actually needed to uh, speak to anyone. But uh, let's have a look at this notice board here. Okay, hands off my plums. If I catch anybody taking plums from my orchard, I'll cleave him in two with my axe. Don't say I didn't warn you. Winselaus, okay. Uh, no plums then. Looking for work. We'll do any for a... Uh, We'll do any job for a bowl of soup or a scrap of bread. I've done a bit of co co coopering, coopering and carpentering, and have my own tools, bolo, okay? Old Millie's gone mad. Old Millie's lost whatever wits he had left, running around the yard in nothing but his nighties, yelling horrible ludities and smearing mud pies on anyone who walks close to the fence. Best avoid his place, especially if you've a freshly laundered dress on. Well, it's at least it's mud pies and not uh, something else. Keep away from the Nilf Guardians. I'll shear the hair off any trollop who fraternizes with the Nilf Guardians so her baldness will proclaim her shame to all. And I'll carve the face of any peddler who deals with the black ones or so provides them a service. A patriot. Nice. Very, yeah. Uh, a contract. Okay, Jenny of the Woods. Hark. Some devilries taken hold of our field, something neither spirit nor phantom. Old Will swears on his mother's grave it's like to be... It's like to be Jenny of the Woods. Whether it is or it ain't, be careful and don't go out in the fields alone, and most certainly not without sight or rake in hand. But if you've the courage to drive the foul thing off, you'll receive a handsome reward. Balko, Alderman of Midcops. I'll take that. Um, and that's the notice board. We've got merchants and all sorts here. Yeah. Ooh, contract, Jenny of the Woods. Yep, we can take that. Uh, we're not going to track that for now. For now, I am going to head back to the uh, hut. That is a creepy body here. That's a statue. Fucking hell, that's a creepy statue. Um, <laughs> that's a very creepy statue. Uh, okay, let me mark my map for that hut we were at. Hunting a witch. Do that. She wasn't in the hut when we went inside after the uh, the villagers had left. So let's see. Um, let's see where she went. Maybe there's some trickery afoot. Take these plants. Okay. Anybody home? Indeed. Witcher senses here. Oh, lots of red. Okay. Let's just have a look around first. Now, where she went off to? Hmm, probably down the hatch. Uh, let me loot this uh, bit of parchment here. Letter to Alexander. Okay, darling, I'm writing because you must be worried that I'm still angry. Silly man, you know full well I never hold a grudge for long. I forgive you. It's all because of that secretiveness of yours. Is it so strange for me to take an interest in your plague research? I adore watching you at work in your tower. Please, if you still refuse to discuss the results of your experiments with me, at least don't deny me that small pleasure. If Sarad, Viserad, doesn't need you tomorrow evening, come see me. We'll clear everything up over a glass of wine, or two or more. You're okay. Okay. Ooh. Lots of uh, interesting bits of the music. It's kind of creepy. Uh, okay, examine the skull here. Oh. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... Oh. So this is where she disappeared to. Oh. Um, well, I do want to actually look at everything else. Um, that I did not look at. I don't... I think I think we may have just found the clue straight up. Okay, let's loot this. Recipe for black eyeliner. I like that. Uh, black eyeliner in a pinch. When deprived of professional products, one can mix up black eyeliner from crushed medicinal charcoal mixed with fresh egg yolk and a drop of lavender oil to keep contaminants at bay. Store the eyeliner in a cool place for at most three days and make a new batch because the old one has surely rotted. Ingest the remaining medicinal charcoal for it can only do you good. Okay, double the handy I suppose. Uh, well, I should have actually explored the other bits uh, 
a shame that I didn't, and it doesn't seem I can loot that. Can I loot anything else though? Because uh, maybe it's not stealing. Maybe she's a witch. I wonder if I can actually like grab that. Let me try this. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go down the hatch before I go into the uh, the portal, I think. Yeah, let's go down this hatch. Oh ho! Treasure, perhaps? Seems like it. A doll, creepy. Dwarven spirit, useful. Dwarven spirit, useful again. Okay, lots of loot here and there. Ooh, manuscript page, hangman's venom, a meteorite ingot and a bear hide. Take all that. Uh, manuscript page, albedo, and a lesser sparrog runestone. Take all that. And uh, all the loot here. Bread, good. Bread, also good. Um, what else is here? A journeyman. Ooh, journeyman's weapon repair kit. Heck yeah. Oh, we should probably repair our weapons soon as well. What's this? Silver. Oh, okay, that's really good. We need, we need silver. We need silver so we can craft uh, bits and pieces. All right, into the very noisy portal. Oh. Whoa. Find a witch. Find a witch. Where the heck are we? Somewhere. Well, well, nice. Oh. Is this I like was wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Oh. Does she know us? Look at all the hairs. Look at all the bunnies. Oh, we're not allowed to run here. Okay, you cannot do that here. Yeah. Okay. How does she know us? Greetings, Witcher. Oh. Hello. Mr. Spot. Hmm. Where? Hope you didn't come to court. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Fultest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's ask for these first, about these first, because I think the yellow is going to progress us. So what are you doing in Velen? Seems they know each other, so... So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery, or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end, burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Huh, okay. Uh, why Velen? Is it because it's no man's land? Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash. But he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. 
Hmm, okay. You like playing the village witch. So how's it feel to be the village witch? Ah, <sighs> horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Okay, well, back to the topic at hand. Changing the subject. Uh, any word from the other sorceresses of the lodge? Okay. Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. Okay. Well, I'm looking for a certain young woman. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? As if she doesn't know. Uh, someone who quarreled with a witch or Siri. I think let's not give it away straight up. Someone who quarreled with a witch. Apparently she quarreled with the local witch. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you horse shit. The girls around here are too stupid to quarrel with me. She's not from here. You're up to something, Geralt. If I'm to help you, you must tell me what's going on. Who are you looking for? Siri. Siri? Well, now I understand the secrecy, not to mention the brooding, the furled brow. And do you say she had some sort of problem with a witch? So you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Mm-hmm. Who did the asking, or what else did he say? Oh, fuck, I, can, I hope I can pick both, but uh, I'm curious, who did the asking? Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea, no offering for the witch. Hmm, how does a few dozen eggs sound? Or is my gratitude good enough? My undying gratitude, good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at, but you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. Oh, sod it, don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. Okay. So it's Scoia'tael, that's how you pronounce it, okay. Uh, okay, what was he doing in Velen? What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. Of course. What was his name? He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. Hmm, interesting. Did he leave any message for her? He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Okay. Uh, can we go or can't go just yet? I want to look around here, so can't go just yet. Can't go just yet. In that case, we'll meet there. I'll await you near the cave entrance. Oh, okay, well, fair enough. Yeah, I just want to have a look around. Uh, those bunnies were at it. Uh, unsurprisingly, as bunnies do. just want to have a peek and see if there's anything interesting for us to pick up here. Literature, especially. 
Meet Kira at the entrance to the mage's hideout. Okay. So we've done the first bit of this uh, quest. And now we have Wandering the Dark. Finding Siri and Velen had proven harder than tracking a swallow on a rainy day. According to Kira, an elven mage had been tracking this particular swallow as well. Had he found her, did he know more about her fate? Geralt knew he had to find out and Kira, well, she had unfinished business of her own with the mage. And so the Witcher and the Sorceress set out together on a journey into the darkness to find the mysterious elf's underground hideout. Okay. Um, we could do this, but I am actually curious about the, uh, the whole Bloody Baron matter. And I think I would like to actually, um, help him get his family back together. So let us, um, okay, I don't think there's anything in this uh, area. So let us head out. Oh, okay, I forgot you don't have to actually select anything to use the portal. Oh no. Okay. Is it the skull that activates it? No, okay, okay, we can't go back. Well, hopefully there really was nothing there. And uh, I'm sorry, Kira, that I looted your house. I think maybe she won't mind. Uh, right, let's uh, find the Pella's hut. Let's look at our map here. And I think I need to go to a... Um, I think I need to go to a merchant soon. There is a merchant in Midcops, actually, so let's... Um, Let's speak to them. Let's mark mid cops. Uh, oh, that should be fine. Um, just so I can sell off and maybe dismantle some items um, and unload a little because my carry weight is getting a little bit heavy. So we're gonna go to mid cops and speak to some villagers. It's really lovely out here. Look at how beautiful it is, really. Truly, like, I used to spend a lot of time in the woods when I was a kid, so kind of makes me miss that a little. Uh, right, merchant, 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 there you are. Let's see what you will buy from me. An amulet, a bazaar, some tortoise shells. Okay, show me your words. Oh, he plays Gwent too. What else you have on offer? Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Tried remedies for trying times. <laughs> oh, bless. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see here. What can we sell off? Oh, we have quite a lot of... Um, we have quite a lot of things. Let's sort by weight here. Um, food and drink. No, we're not selling any of those. I suppose we can sell all these uh, weapons that we're not going to be bothered with using. A mace... Um, actually, can I mark things as well? Let me leave this first. So long. Okay, let's go to our inventory and we will check. Um, how can I compare L2? Okay, we've got a pretty decent weapon. What is this? Novigrad Longsword. Um, ooh, Yerden Sign Intensity or Adrenaline Point Gain. I like the crit, actually, it will keep ours. Silverton Sword, Quen Sign Intensity, and Axie Sign Intensity. Actually, pretty good. Okay, so I think we can sell all these other items. What is this magic and master item? Okay. Um, magic item seems better. Seems to have two bits and pieces. Uh, okay, let's see here. Hunting gauntlets. I think ours are better, definitely. We've got some um, fancy clothes that we use for the Emperor's viewing. And tracker boots. Uh, I think I think we actually got better stuff here. So, what I can do um, is let me... Uh, let's find the I hear the clink clank of an anvil. Good, she'll send me on the so let's see if we can break down some items. Let me check our random items here. Hang on. We have a chain. Okay, we can dismantle a whole lot, uh, lot of things actually. Um, I think we can dismantle the silver and this uh, silver amber necklace. But we can sell that. It seems like it's worth quite a lot of money. Uh, maybe just the teapot. We'll do that. And this, uh, and the mug. And, okay, the mug and the teapot will dismantle. Let's 
let's see what happens. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one-handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Oh, okay. What is that? Um, can you craft something for me? Need something crafted. Okay. Let's uh let's repair first. Let's repair equipped. Ooh, 82 crowns. Okay. Um, let us dismantle. Okay, so we have this silver teapot uh, will be destroyed. Any upgrades will be recovered. Yep, sure. <gasps> we got the silver ingot. Thank you again to the person who has uh, who has given us that tip. I think is that it? Uh, that steel ingot. Wait, did we get the silver ingot? Wait, did I? Did I dream that? Never mind. I may have. I may have. Uh, I may have celebrated too soon. Hang on. We'll see. We'll look at that again. Do this. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Okay, okay. We can... Pure silver. Okay. So I can... Wait, hang on. This is... This is the items that we will get from it. This is silver. This is pure silver. Okay, I need silver ingot. Yeah. Okay, we have one. We have one. Can we craft... The weapon? Hang on. Uh, crafting compo- No, he's not uh, I don't- He's he's an armor smith, isn't he? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, let's go to the shop and see what he has. Oh my days. Uh, actually, can we sell stuff to him? Because I can sell- um, I can sell this necklace. Yeah, we can get a hundred crowns. Um, and does he have silver ingots anyway? Steel. Okay. Um... Do we risk it? Do we risk selling this? He won't buy anything else, that's the thing. Or I suppose I can worry about money later because we need to go to Novigrad at some point anyway. So we can go to the bank. Now let me buy all this stuff. Um, Edwin Greloff's first map, we'll buy that. And we have the second map here, okay. And we've got some clothes and armor. Okay, Dwani. Uh, Skelliger Gamberson, okay. And we've got a shirt. Right, uh, nothing else really. <laughs> For now, I think um, we need to find a, a weaponsmith. Okay, farewell. So long. Oh, what was with that uh, response here? Uh, ooh, let's use this. Your items have been enhanced. Brilliant. Uh, okay, now let oh. us go to the Pella's hut. Let's see how far away that is. Uh, Kinda of far away. Heatherton. Heatherton is pretty close. Um Yeah, we'll do Heatherton, I think. Okay, let's port to Oh my days. Okay, calm down woman. Uh Heatherton. And hopefully I think the Baron's men are probably not aggro to us anymore. We could probably check out what the um the innkeep has for sale, but I think we can uh, just do the quest for now. I don't know what the dotted bits are on the map. I think it's a like pathing for us to get to the uh, quest. Okay, and I've repaired all my gear. Oh, we have some drowners here. Uh, let's quen up. And maybe we can take out these, uh, these drowners. Oh, did we not quite up? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my days. Okay, the, the Quen actually did some damage to it. I think. Oh my days. Oh no 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 no! Oh, he took a little bit out of us. Okay, that's fine. We got water. Uh, let me loot monster bone. Good. Um, let's loot more bits and pieces. There's apparently loot here. Monster blood. 
Okay, and uh, let me swap out my healing items here. We must save uh, as many chicken sandwiches as possible. I did not sell anything that actually... I forgot to sell. My bad. Um, let's put in the bread here. And we should be good to go now. Uh, hello, Mr. Drana. Oh, my days. Okay. Uh, any loot? Nope. Doesn't look like it. That's, oh, there is. Oh, it takes a while for it to drop, hey? Okay, bones. Now let's go find this uh, Pella. Supposedly a very interesting individual. Uh, how far are we from the Pella's hut? I didn't think it would be that far away. Uh, ooh, a graveyard. Don't know if I like the sight of this. Oh, he lives next to the graveyard. Okay, well. Hey, hey look. Oh. Some strays want. Okay. Some go something going down here. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Oh. Um, I'll pay you to go. We got an axie, but we don't. We can't leave or die. Or what do you want from the Pella? What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augurys. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries, lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse, and he's got hardened pustules all over him. Okay. Tell you what, you leave and I'll heal Edric. I guess so, yeah. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Who the hell do you think you are? Oh. A witcher. A witcher? Hear that, boys? Either Velen's got a bumper crop of witches, or this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the crossroads. Uh oh. Let's dance. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> Still, oh no, it. that was... Uh, yeah, okay, well... Yeah, that's what I get for for that then. That's okay. Um, please don't have any crossbow men. Okay, yeah, they have they have crossbow dudes. Okay, of course, not crossbows, but bow dudes in general. Let's, uh, let's take out the bow guy first, I think. Oh, they've got multiple bow guys. That's great. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, what you got, sir? What you got? Where are the crossbow dudes? Where are the crossbow dudes? Or oh, bow dudes, sorry. Oh, they are crossbow dudes, actually. Ah, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Bread, 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 bread. Let's get rid of this level guy. Okay, you're done. Oh, don't do that. Oh, the crossbow guy. Oh, my days. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go after this crossbow guy. Well, I tried to be nice. Oh, my days. What? Oh, my days. Oh, no. Did I save? Oh, I don't think I saved. Maybe it also saved, hopefully. Oh, no. Uh, I should have... I actually should have just used Quend, my... Uh, I don't know what spell that is. My Axie isn't that great or upgraded. Okay, so we could use Axie to uh, get our way. I did not... I did not save. Okay, well, that is fine. Um, a Roach? I think he's around the corner. Okay, we'll get on Roach and uh, we'll head over and we'll try that again. I should have... Uh, I should probably be a bit more vigilant about... Uh, quick saving and that is absolutely my bad let me make sure we have the uh the right marker here uh, we don't actually oh we do okay brilliant let's go let us go roach oh i hey auto pathing correctly here love okay 
I don't think it's going to follow the, uh, the dots on the map here. Oh no, and we had killed those drowners as well along the way, didn't we? Okay. It's fine. We can just, uh, well, ignore the drowners for now. It's not like they had that much good loot anyway. Speaking of which, actually, there they are. So maybe not, maybe I lied. Okay, get off the horse, please, Geralt. Oh, fucking hell, don't do that, Donna. Okay, we got one done. Any loot? Any loot? No, we're dodging, we're dodging, that's fine. Oh, I am on the wrong uh, bloody spell here. Oh, did he nick me there? Nope, I did. There are two more. Okay, there's one more there. Leave uh, Roach alone. Okay, lovely. Um, let's loot, I think. Can we loot? Okay. And loot over here. I think the vibrations fall when like there's loot on the ground or something. Right, Roach. Run, Roach. Let's uh, keep going. I may want to actually invest into the uh, saddlebags after all, so that we can clear up one uh, skill slot rather than put it into uh, into carry weight. Oh god, if they do the uh, horse racing thing, I feel like uh, I would not do very well there. Okay, Roach, I don't mean to part you so close, but it's fine. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Oh, it's, is it a different guy or is it the same? Um, Let's... I'm just going to, since we know what's going to happen, I'm just going to say leave or die. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb majors pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. Oh. Oh my days, that's bloody, uh, bloody brutal, isn't Stand it? Still, damn it. Okay, we gotta get the bow people off the way. I do want my axe out, that's the thing. Oh, fucking hell, don't do that, sir. Yeah, no shit, it's just a tree. Okay, okay, the bowman, the bowman, the bowman, I see you. Annoying. Let's go for an Axie here. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Bugger off. Nope. Don't do that. Eat, drink the water. Okay, lovely. Done. You're dead. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit better. I wonder about a man who could get Hedrick's friends all worked up. Yeah. Uh, smoking pipe. Uh, okay, got that. I do need to sell my items that I forgot. Okay, crowns. Okay, die. Uh, blunt eggs will take all that. More crowns, blackjack. Um, who is Edric? I don't know who Edric is. Uh, take that. And where's the last? Apple and more books, okay. Alright, who is this Pella? What is on that post? Oh, it's just a torch, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's knock on the door here. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. 
devils. Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the peller awaits. Just having a meal. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, he set the table out. Okay, expecting me. You were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Okay, well, I need your help, Mr. Pellerman. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. Okay, so he remembers. Did you make it? You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. Mm, protect from what? So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was. Evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for Anna and her daughter. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits, great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! <laughs> oh no! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat. <laughs> Won't work. Oh, my days. Okay. Um, he's got chicken feet tied to his neck. <laughs> tied around his neck. <laughs> or some kind of bird's feet. Um, I'm not going to refuse. I think we'll help him find his goat. If I find your goat, will you help? <sighs> will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess. Princess. Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. Okay, so we have a Pella's Bell. Okay, quest items. You have a new quest item. Prepare it for use by placing it in an appropriate slot in the inventory panel and then selecting it from the quick access menu. To use the item, press or hold R1. Okay, well, I guess we are going to find a goat. Um, <laughs> a princess in distress. Let's read this. Find the Bella's goat using the bell in your witcher senses. Geralt's search for information about the Baron's wife and daughter took him to the local Pella. One glance and he knew the man was highly eccentric. That was what I was about to say as well. An impression only strengthened when the Pella announced he would not divine what had happened to Anna and Tamara until Geralt found Princess, his runaway goat. Having no other choice, Geralt set off on a wild goat chase. I was gonna say, forget a wild goose chase. It's a wild ghost chase. Goat, goat, not ghost. Well, maybe that too. Um, Alright, I guess we're finding the... Uh, I guess we're looking for a goat. Okay, we have a uh, bell. Where is our bell? Um, have we not our bell? Hang on. Um, okay, hang on. Let's see. Ah, okay. So here we have the Pella's bell. Ring a ding ding. Okay, so that's what we got to use to get her to follow us. Witcher senses. Let's see. 
If we can sense princess around. Oh god, she might be a little bit far away actually. Um, is she very far away? Hang on. No, 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 she's not. Um, she's around here somewhere. Oh, oh, okay. I see uh, some tracks. This way, I think. I <laughs> think, yeah. Okay, let's look for our goat. Um, let's also swap out that chicken. I see some red dots on the map. Um, let's change out those sandwiches. We'll try to save the sandwiches. And uh, let's do a um, some bread instead. Okay, and we'll go to swap that over. What are these uh, creatures here? Quite up here. What are they? Oh, wolves! Okay, not don't like wolves. Don't like wolves. Very difficult to fight for me, anyway. Okay, one down. Ooh, that dodge on that wolf. Ooh, the dodge on me. Okay, we're good. Maybe we can get some meat. Oh, lovely. Take all that. Dog tallow. More meat. Brilliant. Hopefully the goat is still alive amongst all the uh, wolves here. Okay, lovely. Done and dusted. Meat, very good. Which oh oh I hear I hear you, princess. Come here. Where are you? There you are. Where? Oh, there come you on. are. Let's Hello, go see princess. The come on, let's go. Should have guessed as much. What's a Witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? This way, your grace. <laughs> this way, your grace. Come here. Let's just go straight. Uh, ooh, that Do is I not... really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on, take you back to the pillar. Misses you something awful. <laughs> come, come, princess. Okay, okay, okay. Where the hell did you go? Princess, come back. Princess, no. Bear. Bear. Oh. Oh, Run, oh, 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 piece of shit. <laughs> oh! No, 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 no! Oh my days! Okay, okay. Princess! Be careful! behind just stay just stay at his bum just stay at his bum and work it oh we're on the hill we are we are oh, ha, ha, ha. okay we're good we're good we're not we're less good okay oh, ha, ha, ha. okay 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 no we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good i need to quen i need to quen where's the bear going he's going in this cave i need to quen i need to quen okay bear let's give you a little bit of igni No, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine! Oh, okay. Holy moly. Okay, a princess in distress. Oh, my days, okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna look in this bear cave. Uh, oh, my days, it goes really far in. Does it go really far in? It, it might, actually. Is that where the um Oh, isn't this where Siri was? Oh, am I crazy? I, I might be crazy. I might be crazy. All right, princess. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to Come follow? Come on. Let's go. <laughs> we'll explore the cave later. It's marked on our map, so that's good. Come, come. I'm sorry. Geralt's reaction. Let me quick save here. Geralt's reaction to that um to the bear <laughs> was uh, was pretty funny. You're no roach, but 
I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. <laughs> okay, I, I really like that, actually. Hey, fella, look who we got back. We got Princess. Princess, come here. Oh, my days. Come here, come here, come here. He's just left it out in the open anyway. Like, I feel like it's not a very safe pen for a goat. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. Yes. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Okay, um, will you help me now? Or oh, let's do this. Um, let's ask, will you help me now? Happy for you, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Okay. Fine. Be right back. All the chicken feet are on his neck, I swear to God. <laughs> Will this do? Ooh, mix with the milk. Enough, I need to know more. It's over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, and augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Huh. You spoke of a child, whose? Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Oh. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Hmm. You know all this how? Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Okay. Um, Baron have anything to do with this? The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Okay. Um, the child, what happened to it? What happened to the child? In a grave thrown, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. Oh. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Okay. 
Uh, ooh, how can I lift the curse? Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Okay, why do you need its blood? Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. Okay. Um, you mentioned forefather's eve. I hear you right. You mentioned forefather's eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Okay, well I need to know where this bossling is. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Hmm, okay, now we need to talk to the Baron. Hello guys, actually pretty nice, hey? At least from what I know. And he seems to be a merchant as well. What do you sell? White wolf, wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? We've got lots of things happening. Uh, ooh, do the villagers visit often? Folk from the village come here often? Oh, when help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a-haunting. Peace must be made. But they must then wait for Forefather's Eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead. Drive the spirit off, the Pella can. And if I needed, say, a love potion? Then to the witch you would be sent. Not a matter for the Pella, that. Okay, uh, well, show me your wares. Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got. Okay, whoa, 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 what do you have here, sir? Oh my days, it's a crafting diagram. Loads of crafting diagrams. We've got cured draconid, draconid leather. Phew, expensive. Lots of rune stones, loads of ingredients, and note here. Formula ether. Okay, okay. Uh wow. He's uh he's got a good stock, man. So long, Pella. So long. I'll come back when I've got more money to spend. Um for now, we need to go speak to a certain baron. But before we speak to the baron, actually let me go to this cave and then we'll go back to uh to Crow's Perch. Uh, let's go explore this cave that we found with the bear. Sorry, bear. Did not mean to kill the bear, but uh, princess came first. <laughs> Man, this uh, this game, the writing of the quest lines and bits and pieces, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying... Oh, my days almost fell to my doom there. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying that aspect of it. I am... Um, this quest line is certainly going... We knew... I mean, I knew that the Baron was a bit sus when we mentioned the fight in the room and everything. Uh, he really didn't want to go into it, but maybe, yeah, he's the cause of it all. Uh, which would be a shame, because again, I don't... I don't mind the... Uh, I don't mind the Baron that much. Am I going to regret this? Maybe. Potentially. Let's do a quick save. Maybe I should have quick saved when I didn't drop down yet, but that is okay. We're too late for that now. Quen ready up as well. Uh, and we can have our torch ready to It's a bit dark here. Uh, right. Ingredients. We'll take all of it. 
Oh, some loot. Uh, not that, sorry. What was I doing? Torch. Uh, punch this. Can't punch it. We'll just loot it. Oh, I don't know what I got. I got black pearl dust and something else. I think we'll witcher sense our way through here. Lesser three bog, a rune stone. Diagram. Ursine steel sword, master crafted. Very cool. Mm, what else is here? Rotting flesh. Ah, I don't know if I should have picked that up actually. I think that's it for the cave. Okay, I thought there might be a wee bit more, but I think we're actually fine. Um, no, it's not cleared off though. Wouldn't it usually like grey out if we've done exploring it? Oops, okay. Is there like some kind of uh, secret tunnel or something nearby? Or maybe it's just, maybe that's just it. That might just be it actually. Okay, I guess it doesn't uh, clear the grey out the marker like I thought it would. Oh, I've just completely missed something, but I think not. I think we've actually explored it all. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Pretty cool. Oh no, somebody died to the bear. That's not good. Right. Let us, uh, where is Roach? We're going to head back to Crow's Perch here. Slow. Let me muck that. Uh, let's see. Hello. Crow's Perch. There's a quest available here. Let's go pick it up since it is somewhat on the way. Go do that. I, I do like the Pella guy. I don't know. Something about him is... Uh, like, I think it's pretty clear he's not evil. He's certainly an interesting fellow. Um, with the chicken feet around his neck and all that. Where are we? Hang on. Where are we? Oh, this is a new town area type thing. Have we got a signpost here to travel from? No. Run! And whosoever Maybe finds the Baron's home. daughter will Oh, we're in Blackbow. Okay. Uh, okay, merchant. Hello. Buying or just perusing? Um, selling actually. Hankering to play ones. Oh god, I kind of am, but my deck is like kind of shite. What are you offering? Show me what you've got on offer. Okay, we'll sell all our swords. Oh, you have a Dalbert Kermit's first map. Take that. Fifth Essence. No, thank you. Um, let's sell off these uh, these weapons that we've got here. Uh, we don't need that. That, that. Although I suppose they're worth dismantling, but I do, I do just want money at this point because I'm quite low on it constantly. I suppose we can sell this uh, Velen longsword. I'm not gonna use that. Um, oh, we have more stuff here. Sell all. Yeah, we're gonna sell all this. Uh, this item cannot be sold. That's fine. Small blackjack. Let's sort by weight here. Price, and then weight. Um, let's see what we've got. We can sell this as well. Uh, and then we can sell... I think some of the gloves we can sell off. Hunting gauntlets. I think we'll sell this one. Uh, we'll sell this hunting gauntlet off as well. We'll keep our fancy clothes. Um, let's see what else can we sell off here. Uh, do we sell these um, black magic doll? It's not worth very much actually. This one's not worth very much either. Flowers. Um, rotting flesh. Okay, it seems we can dismantle like basically anything, so maybe we'll hang on for now. Farewell. So long. Okay. Okay, this time is uh, not particularly Hello. friendly. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's my fault. Let's go to uh, Crow's Perch and question the uh, Baron, but also get that quest. I don't know Lightning how strike. mad. 
Ooh, what lightning strike? Oh, oh shit! Things on fire. Oh no, that's no good. Well, before that, we'll go grab this quest first. Oh. Are you one of the fighting people? Hello, Ron Vid of the Small Marsh. Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! Oh. Okay. Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ron Vid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury fairest of all maids I know by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, oh. draw your sword post haste, for I have 99 left after you. Oh, <laughs> we're the first. Okay, uh, why do you want to fight me? Hmm, why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilbury's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend! Stand and fight! Oh boy. Oh my days. Okay, you are level 9, sir. Oh my days. Hang on. Do we want to fight this guy? I don't I don't know. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Do we do we do we wanna fight this guy? Oh okay, you yield. Okay, 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 okay. Had enough. Yes. Look stood with you. But but the next time we meet. Okay, next time I'll kill you, get out of my sights. Jesus, why are you so Well, he did challenge us to a fight, but still. Um get out of my sight. Next time I'll kill you. Will we though? I don't know which one's worse. They're both not great. Uh, get out of my sight, I suppose. Go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Okay. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Oh, okay. Maybe we shall. Receive 25 XP. Yeah. Okay, let's go to uh, Crow's Perch. Some fires going on there. Not great. We left for a little bit and now everything's uh, chaos. Are you alright, lady? Uh, she is doing something. I don't know what there. Uh, right, let's go check out what happened. The, uh, everything's ablaze. That's not good. Pass it on fire, yeah. Fucking hell, let's go, let's go. Oh, everyone's gathered out here for the fire. Baron set the stables afire. Oh no! Baron! What did you do? I still haven't played Gwent with everyone though! No, Baron! Oh, wait, read the bestiary to learn more about botchlings. Oh god, okay, hang on, sorry, I'm being very... Maybe, okay, let's do it this first, let's not get distracted. What did the Baron do? Set the stable on fire, fucking hell, oh my days! Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Oh no. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now. Quick. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Save the stable hand and the stable horses. Fucking hell. What about Gretka? Oh no, where's the stable? Where's the stable? Is this a time limit? Is this a time limit? Are we are we gonna be okay even? How the heck did we get in there? Ladder, ladder, ladder. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think this is a good idea. Oh no! The breath? Really? Oh no! Okay, okay, I'm not sure. Okay, okay, okay. Witcher senses. Witcher senses. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to. Ah, uh, dear. Oh, can I not go in? Um. 
Okay, I fell. Okay, let's get him, let's get him. Stable master. Come, 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 sir. Open, open, open. Oh god, we're gonna die. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Ah, no, I didn't, I didn't save, I didn't save. Where are we meant to go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh my days. <laughs> Why did the Baron do this? <laughs> oh my days. We are a hero in our midst. The horses. Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Oh my days, we have to, we have to fist fight the Baron. Me, didn't they? Can we? We can't eat. Oh my days. Oh no, Baron's gonna beat our ass. Not good. Oh, 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 not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat. Not allowed during combat. Fucking hell. Oh, don't kill me, Baron! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, we'll try that again. I think it also saved. Hopefully. Hopefully it did. I don't want to do that horse bit again. Oh, my days. The fist fights. I'm really bad at them. I have to keep... I, I think I'll try to get better at them. Because... Maybe that this will not be the last fist fight we have, but fucking hell, we can't like lock on or nothing. Uh, which is Our fine. Which is fine! Prick. Whoa, that is an unfair they shot, sir. Lying prick. Okay. Not too late to surrender. Okay, Baron. Okay, Baron. What you got? Are they betting? I can hear someone said something about the Witcher winning. I think I need to learn how to parry. Or block, actually. Blocking. Blocking might be a good thing here. Oh! Okay, Baron. Okay, Baron. What you got? He is a beefy, beefy man. Oh, my days. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, my days. Oh, no! Is he okay? Oh, oh! Huh? We need to talk. <laughs> Is he actually an asshole though? Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Oh, man, really? <sighs> I kind of liked him too, but he's... Uh, okay, never hit your daughter, really. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Man, this is, uh, ugh, okay. Anna, how'd she get you angry? Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. 
Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Ugh. So you knew they ran away. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Ugh, oh, you're a flaccid prick for beating them to begin with. How did they flee? What happened? They didn't run away. You drove them out. No matter. I know how to find them. Uh, they didn't run away. You drove them out. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Hmm. So tell me how it really was. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened, the truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Hmm. What about the signs of fighting in the room? Signs of a fight in the room? Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Mm. Did Tamara witness this? Tamara present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Hmm. What happened next? What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Mm. What did you do with the child? Well, we know that. Must have been a terrible sight. Seen a lot of dead in my time. But that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet Anna wore could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. 
What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. <laughs> keep it together, man. I feel your pain. Uh, keep it together, man. I don't know. Fucking hell. I wanted to like the Baron, but I don't like him that much anymore. Keep it together, Baron. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Hmm. Let me explain, or you don't need the details. Oh, do we not? I don't think we should give him the details. I don't think he'll like it, actually. Uh, you don't need the details. Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. Mm. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Yeah, I did actually want to go that route. Uh... uh... Okay, let's go with this as well. Let's do all the dialogue options. Haven't decided what I'll do. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Okay, where'd you bury the fetus? Show me. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll come get you later. Need to tend to something first. Be quick! And me? What am I to do in the meantime? Sober up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to quickly read our bestiary here. Damn, man. This goddamn quest. It's not even a... It's actually not a side quest, is it? In a sense, it's the main quest. But fucking hell, still. Heavy stuff, dudes. Uh, right, let's, uh, read this. Cursed Ones. That is a horrifying silhouette. Uh, we don't even have the details of it yet. I'm, I'm shuddered to think what it looks like. Botchlings. Saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. Lambert, the Witcher of the Wolf School. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies discarded without a proper burial, their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus, their unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads their victims' death. That is uh, pretty, pretty nasty. Um, right. Let us, um, tell the Baron we'll get move on then. Well, ready? Yes, let's do this. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave. Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Oh, good lord. A bit further. Follow me. 
Okay, I gotta follow. Follow the Baron. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Okay, where are we going? Here's the spot. Oh boy. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botch things on the prowl. Uh oh. Look. Oh. Ooh. Uh, turn the botchling into a lubberkin. Let's do it. Take it in your arms, quick. Oh. And if it goes garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Oh my days. Merciful gods! Ooh. Back oh, to the okay. fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Yes, true. Oh, fuck. You did ask for it, Baron. <laughs> Fucking all the way he's holding it. That is uh, not a pleasant creature. Okay, let's... Uh... Good thing we told other villagers to stay inside. I don't think the sight of the bot thing would have uh, helped in any way, manner or form. Look at now, Baron. Maybe you could, um... Oh, we cannot attack the target. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh! Spectres. Botchling scent attracted them. Do something! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, then, yeah, then, yeah, then. Fucking hell, Fuck, don't do that. Nope, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, no, 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 no. Baron, get out of the way. Okay, I think we're good now. It's writhing something fierce! You can't hold it! Calm it somehow! Okay, Axie. There we oh. go. Oh. Quiet now. Oh my days. <laughs> but, but what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Oh, oh, it's just going to live there. Oh my days, okay. I didn't know that was what it involved, but uh, he asked for it. Lubberkin is what he wanted and Lubberkin is what he will uh, get, I suppose. Aha, uh -huh. okay, more uh, waves, I guess. I'm coming, need to hurry. Yeah, need to hurry. With it. Come here, Raves. Show me what you got. Oh, no, bloody hell. Okay, okay, Raves. Okay, no. Oh, bo -bo -bo -bo. okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Eat the meat, eat the meat. Oh, no, 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 no,
I still think Quentin is my best friend here. Fuck the unit. Fuck the unit. Fuck the unit. Oh my days. Fine, eat the meat, eat the meat, eat the meat. Where are we? Bastard. Oh, where did you come from? Oh my days. Okay, 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 okay. No, we're fine, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whoop, uh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whoa, how many rips are there? Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Eat the meat, eat the meat, climb up. Okay, we're good, we're good. I think we're good, I think we're good. Come on, we got her. Like a daft eel. Like a daft eel. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh no, they've got my chicken sandwiches. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is a uh, is more exciting than I thought it would be. I'll be honest with you. We're gonna have uh, some apple here. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Uh oh. I felt my controller vibrate. <laughs> Do we have to fight more raves? No, we're that close. We're close to the uh, the castle or his house. <laughs> All right, we made it. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya. And the price thee is my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But- No buts. Just witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Hmm. Oh, That was a bit sad. That kind of- that kind of was. And I still don't know how I feel. I feel- oh! Oh, mixed feelings about the Baron. Don't really like him, but... Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Summon the Lubberkin where the botchling is buried. Okay, we'll sit and wait, I suppose. Um, let me swap. No, not that, sorry. Um, let me swap this out first. Oh, my days. Wow, what the writing. Insane. Very, very, very good. Um, let's uh, save all my stuff again. Can I unequip from here, actually? Unequip, yeah. Okay, we don't need that. We have 
Uh, some dried fish, actually. That would be good. I'll put that there. Okay. Um, we'll sit and wait here. Oh, apple first. Let's sit and wait. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Okay, oh, bloody hell, it's fast. Okay, a little less yeah. horrifying than, uh, than the botchling the Lubberkin is. Just a little, little uh, spirit floating no. around. Oh. <laughs> No one seems to be bothered by it. I don't know if people can see this. I imagine they must be able to. Where are we going, Dea? Oh, my days. Okay. Maybe they, maybe they can see it. Are they very far away? I wonder. Maybe they were just right under our noses this whole time. This damn pulls a bastard. Uh, there is a creature over there. I don't know what it is. Drowners, of course. Hello. Come on. Drowner. Okay, they are uh, wait for me. I just gotta get rid of these uh, creatures first. Um, another one there. Do I want to get rid of this? Yeah, I think I do. Hello, Drowner. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be so distracted. Okay, brilliant. Boots. Take all that. Let's, uh, follow her. Are they in this hut? No, they're not. Okay. I swear, if they were just right here this whole time. Which again, may be the most convenient place to hide. They they might be in this hut, actually. Hey? No? Yes? No? Yes? No? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe. No, no, they're not. But we're going to take all that. Oh. Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Okay, thank you. They are... Aha. Uh -huh. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Okay, so this is like a pitch burner's hut. A bracelet. It? One of them must have dropped it. Okay. Is Dea just gonna chill there? Oh, water. Very good. Oh, I could use that. Okay, we have some clues here. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Okay. Do we have time to loot? Little one. Oh, examine this as well, maybe. Oh, nothing to say. I think it's the same uh, clue. That's why. Wants to show me something more. Okay. No time to loot. It's fine. We'll come back later. And what is that? And what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. And drag. Oh my days! Oh, it's a, it's spiders. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yep. Okay, please leave me alone, spider. I need to quen. I need Something's to quen. It's not right. Going the wrong way. Yeah, because these spiders! Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and Drega workers. Okay. Yep, okay, okay, okay. Pick up, pick up everything. Lesser blue mutagen. Okay. Not bad. Um, sorry, Dea. Those spooders. Okay, where shall we go? We should search that hut later. Okay, Dea, where are we going? Okay, they went along. Well, they had horses, now we know. So I suppose they could have gone quite far. 
Uh, okay, I see something. I see something here. What is that? What are you? Rot fiend. Okay. I know you. You explode or something. Oh my days. Come on then. Oop. Okay, okay, okay. Gwen. Gwen. Oop. Oop. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Okay, now. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's gonna go. Nice. Alright. Oh, hang on. There's more. Hello. Okay, now. With, with lands like this, you think there'd be more witches around? Oh, my days. You came out of nowhere. Oh, you were already low health. Okay. Okay, okay, there's, the, there's more. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, okay, Quen may be the end of me. Fucking hell, dude. Okay. Oh, let's get out of there. How many rot fiends? How many rot fiends? Loads. Necrophages have a good day. Okay. Still worth a closer look. You're gonna blow up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Should examine that horse carcass. Uh, I should. Oh no, did they get attacked along the way? That is not good. Okay, hang on, let's leave everything. Oh no, did they... Did they get attacked? Horse carcass here. What do we have here? Okay, we'll go down the list. Bones. Bones have been here a while. Okay, a saddle. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. The ribs. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Uh oh. Legs. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Must be. The head. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Is it the werewolf? Let's summarize. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Is it a good thing though? But Siri got rid of the werewolf. I suppose there probably can be more than one werewolf. Oh, more beastie something. What are we here? A wolf wolf. Okay. Hello, wolf. Oh, how long are you gonna make me wait? <laughs> okay, lots of loads of wolves, I think, up ahead. Quen up, please. Oh, took a little nick there. That's fine. Okay, wolf's liver. We could probably drink some water, actually. Oops, wrong bouton. Uh, water, water, water. Let's replace the uh, dried fish with the water. Perfect. Like that. Okay, they are. Where are we going? There's, there are more wolves, but it's fine. Get through with getting more raw meat to eat. Oh, what is this place? Were we here before? I don't think we were. Oh, are there people in there? I think they might be here. Oh, look that broken a fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Okay. Hello. Oh. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. 
We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? <laughs> Quiet, kid. boy. Okay. Uh, girl who stayed with you, what happened to her? Who would you see? Describe her. Uh, girl who stayed with you, what happened to her? Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Oh, Though no. anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I means. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Hmm. Uh, where is the Baron's wife? What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of ye. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Hmm. Okay. Uh, tell me about these marks or what happened next? Why did you help them? Tell me about these marks. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Hmm. Uh, why did you help them? Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I'd a debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Mm -hmm. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Hmm. What happened next? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seems someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. Twere the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Hmm. Okay, thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be alright in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Okay, now we gotta tell the Baron about his family. Oh, oh. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Oh, bless. Bye, Dea. Okay, well. That's not, uh, I don't know what beast that is, but, uh, 
Okay, so we can talk to the Baron about his family, find Tamara, the Baron's daughter in Oxenford. Uh, okay, wow, the update to this quest log is quite a bit here, let's see. Um, though the Baron had moved heaven and earth to find them, all his efforts proved fruitless. Geralt's search for the Baron's wife and daughter took him to the local Pella. Um, a sort of soothsayer and folk mage whom Geralt rightly suspected would be well informed about all local goings on. The Pella shared some juicy gossip with Geralt. Supposedly the Baron was a drunk and a terror to his family and his wife's recent pregnancy had ended in a mysterious miscarriage. Oh my days, okay it really went. The Pella's augers showed that the miscarried fetus, undoubtedly discarded without a proper burial, had transformed into a dangerous monster, a botchling. The beast was a murderous the beast was murderous and foul, but could yet do some good if its curse could be lifted and the monster could be turned into a lubberkin, this latter being a friendly household guardian, could lead Geralt to the Baron's wife and daughter. Geralt's bosom boiled with wrath as he went to confront the Baron. He was ready to drag the truth out of the man with a sword, force him to confess to what had truly happened that fateful night. A witcher in this state is even more effective than usual, so Geralt accomplished this in short order. The Baron admitted that his wife had miscarried after one of their frequent rows and, she had, and that she and his daughter had fled Crow's Perch. He also agreed to show Geralt where he had buried the miscarried child's remains. When the clock struck midnight, both men set off to find the botchling's grave. Once Geralt had the Baron and the Baron had reached the unborn babe's place of burial, they did not have to wait long for the botchling to show up. The beast hissed and howled and threatened to assume its more monstrous and vicious form. But the two men completed the naming ritual before it could. Then, following ancient custom, they buried the creature under the threshold so that in time it might be reborn as a lubberkin, a household guardian spirit. Geralt hoped this being would help him find the Baron's family. The Baron's wife and daughter had not fled Crow's Perch unaided. A fisherman living nearby had provided key assistance. Geralt went to the man's hut where he'd learned a fiend had attacked the two women during their fight. The beast had torn Anna's horse to shreds and then carried her off into the woods. One detail the fisherman mentioned rankled in the witch's mind. It seemed Anna's hands bore strange marks that had burned with fire just moments before the fiend appeared. What could have caused them and what did they mean? Geralt would have to endure this rankling until he found Anna, who, if still alive, had to be somewhere in Crookback Bog. Tamara, on the other hand, had made it to Oxenfurt, where the fisherman had helped her find shelter with his brother. Right, well... Uh, back to the Barrens we go then. How far away are we? Oh, there's a point of interest on the way. Let's go do that and then we'll head back to the, uh, to the Barrens. Man alive, this has been a cookie trail of a quest. I'm not complaining though, I do love an extensive quest line. Especially if it's, uh, essentially tied to the main quest line. So, can't really complain, can we? Uh-huh, what have we got here? Uh, wolf, okay. Sorry, wolf. Out of my saddle. Okay, let's uh, get this here. Do you have any raw meat? No, dog tallow though. Uh, herb here. Something we received. What have we got on this mark, I wonder? This is some plains area. Is that a dead cow? Fucking hell, it is. What got the cow? The wolves. No meat for us, though. Ooh, a monster's nest. Okay, what have we got here? Ghoulies. Ah, oh, I think they are. Oh, high level ghoulies. Okay. Are you coming? Okay, they're gonna come from behind. Okay. I need to climb up here. Where are you off to? You're not gonna go far away from your nest, are you? Uh, are you healing? Quite a few of you lot here. Oh fucking hell, I tried to dodge that, didn't I? 
failed. Oh, don't run away, Ghoulie. Come back. Oh no, are you gonna heal up? I should be a little bit more aggressive with the Ghoulie, maybe. Oh, don't know. Oh, don't do that. Ay, ay, ay. I need to. I think I need to walk on. I think I need to walk on. Lock and I can't really tell if they come from behind, isn't it? Oh my days. Okay, we're good. Okay, one down. At least. Should probably start making some necrof uh, necrophage oil. Take down these creatures a little bit better. I think that might be what I'm missing out on right now. Not just that, but plenty of other things, of course. Oh, oh, you don't. You don't. Okay, 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 we're good. Come on, Ghoulie. Oh, the little slap. The little slap. Oh, my days. Okay, okay, okay. Ay, ay, ay. The quick slaps and the ghouls are like horrifying. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. We ought to, but. with the ghouls first. Come here, ghoulie. He's not really doing anything, is he? Oh, now he is. That quick slap, that quick slap is horrifying. Okay, I think we got them all. Shame we can't get any uh, food off them, although I don't think that's actually sanitary okay bombs away and let's uh, loot it here maybe we should do a bit of uh, crafting I don't know if we can craft on the go I think we can we made the uh, saboom before so let me try to craft alchemy on okay let's uh let's see oils there we go necrophage oil oh we've got loads okay uh spectre oil did we craft like a million of those actually uh hang on let me see what we have here uh necrophage oil there we go let's uh oh how does that work i guess okay uh, attack power versus necrophages. Yep. I guess that's it. That's how it's applied. How do I check if I have it applied though? Oh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. It's like a timer thing. Okay, good to know. Uh, I think this is the burial site, wasn't it? No, it's not. This is something else entirely. What is in here? Is there anything in here even? No, it's just a bit of ruin. Um, right, let's head back up into Crow's Perch. I do want to explore the... Um, what is it? That house that we uh, found on the way again. At some point. Uh, oh, shall we swim? Where am I going? <laughs> We have gotten a bit lost. I thought we were very close. Oh, we kind of are. Burnt ruins. So it is a location. Okay. Um, let's go. Let's go here. And uh, maybe we can get up on the uh, bank. Okay. Nope. Okay. Maybe we should go this way. Got a 
find the uh, bridge in. Oh, it's all the way there. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Okay. Let's, uh, I don't think we need to call. Maybe we do call Roach, actually. It's just a straight path, but he'll help Roach. Apparently, the good quality of a Roach did not, uh, to not speak. Which is, uh, hilarious. Okay. I suppose we can search these huts as well, actually. Before we go approach, let's see what have we to loot here. So I think we can loot a bunch of things here. I just picked up something, I didn't even look. My bad. Let's see. Empty bottle. So as we can sell that. Bit of wire. Ooh, a chest. Old bear hide. Okay. I suppose we can sell all the hides. Oh, like that. Let's search this hut here. Oh, locked. Key required. Can I break it down, you think? No. Okay, I don't have the key for this house. That's fine. I'll go to this one here. Is this going to be locked as well? This is locked as well. It's burnt down though. Alright, well, let's head back to Crow's Perch then. You would think that the abandoned house would be able to destroy the door, but I guess not. Uh, right, let's go here. Old woman. God bless you. Oh, God bless you too. It's like one of the first few nice villages around, really. Well, not first few, there were a couple of nice ones. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm glad that when we came here earlier and everything was on fire and going nutty, um, I genuinely thought that we would just lock ourselves out of this area, but it seems we're fine and everything worked out in the end. So I'm glad that the whole freaking town oh. didn't burn down. Um, oh. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Okay, 20 crowns. Hey. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I was wondering if we would get rewarded for that decision we made. Uh, nice guy. I'm glad we did that. Let's see here. Oh, where are we going? Oh. Witcher. A word, please. Mm. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. Okay. Uh, what is it? What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. Huh. Is he alright? Suppose he's feeling a bit emotional after everything that happened. Take this. Love letter. Ooh. Ooh. My dearest husband, I breathe a sigh of relief after reading your last letter. I'm so glad you are on the mend after your injury. I know how upset you must be at having to spend the next few weeks in a field hospital, but my heart rejoices that you will not be risking your life on the battlefield. Tamara grows and grows, she can even stand up now. If she holds on to something, though she's still quite unsteady on those chubby little legs, she needs constant minding for every time I turn my back she's climbing onto the table and grabbing whatever her little hands can find. Yesterday she almost poured a bowl of hot soup all over herself. I think I will take on that Miller girl as help because I'm afraid one day I won't catch tomorrow in time. Especially now when you are gone and I must look after all our household affairs myself. Dear Philip, I miss you dreadfully and eagerly await your return. Every day I pray to M Militelli for your health and our daughters and for our family to be whole once more. I hope this horrible war will end soon. I love you. Yours forever, Anna. Oh, damn. Um... Man, good lord, this quest 
Edwin Grelov's first map. Okay, let's read this before I forget. After being recruited by Professor Slavko uh, Atemstein to join his research group, I began the study of the Griffin School of Witches. My base of operations was the tomb under the Crookback Hills. The professor claimed this was the final resting place for one of the Griffins and wished to find a way inside it. I quickly discovered a range of places of interest, each marked with a pictogram in the shape of a Griffin School Witcher medallion. I've marked these points on this map. Edward Ngrelov, adjunct in natural history at Oxenford Academy. And the second map. Plowing a syphilitic son of a poxy whore. Fucking hell, <laughs> what a way to start. I lost the first map I prepared for Professor Atemstein in a game of Gwent. I must now return to my base camp near the tomb under Crookback Hills and start anew. Meanwhile, I will mark further points of interest on this map. Okay. And Adalbert's Kermit's first map. While conducting studies under the guidance of Professor Slavko Atemstein, I happened to cross four places where carved engravings portraying the sign of the Cat School of Witches can be found. Uh, I think we have uh, read this one already. Okay, sir. What are you feeling then? There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them, spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zerikania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Hmm. Um, the death of a family member is always hard. Yeah, it is. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole, this reesty mire, nothing could go right here. Hmm. Well, we got updates on the whole situation, so we got to talk about your family. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. It is a very nice garden, to be fair. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. Oh boy, okay, I guess we should have gone and done that other part of the quest. Uh, sure, I will go. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement. And this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Oh, do we get to play as Siri? That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. 
Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? Ooh. Should we say at Kemorin? Let's do that. Not on the road. At Kemorin? Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. Hmm. I'm the exception, or I'm not a witcher. I don't think she's a witcher, technically, so let's go with that. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it, seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. Hmm. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Oh, coward. Oh, what's the problem? What's the problem? Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. Oh. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. Oh, no. I'll not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Oh, good lord. I'm not very good with riding horses, so <laughs> let's see what happens if I actually have to race. Day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Oh boy. Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Okay, let's go. Your sword is mine. That'll be the day. Okay, we need to manage our stamina here. I'm so nervous, I don't know why. I'm uh, oh 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 canter, 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 canter. Oh go 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 go. Your sword is mine! No no Oh first to the tower, I think we're we're here. Had one just like it! Okay, not too bad, not too bad. The path is really, really forgiving. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Uh oh. Whoa. Another chance to win. Is that a Griffin? That a goddamn griffin. She screamed oh. like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher. Seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. Okay, let's play, play Quent. Um, oh my days, it's yellow. Um, heard anything about witches in the area? 
How did you wind up here? You're working with Nilfgaard. Why? Let's go down the list then. Uh, why are you working with Nilfgaard, Mr. Bloody Baron? Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. <laughs> okay. Uh, how'd you wind up here? How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled and abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Mm, okay, okay, makes sense. Heard anything about witches in the area? Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll see you, Baron. We'll play Gwent later. So long. Okay, find Tamara, the Baron's daughter, in Oxenfurt. Where in the world is Oxenfurt? And maybe we do want to go there because there's a bank. Um oh my, okay. Uh, it's a little bit far away, but we can go from the hanged man's tree and head on east. That should actually do us. So let's do that. Uh, hanged man's tree. Right. Let's uh, let's find our way out. Oh, how do I get out of this room? All right. Bye, bye, Baron. We'll see you in a bit. Didn't appreciate his comment about his poor progress uh made more progress than you sir finding your daughters oh oh wait witcher when you find my daughter will you give her this oh a rag doll uh -huh. okay cloth doll okay is that the one that um, Drinks enough for a whole we had found before? Oh, let's Slurps enhance our spirit and items here. Sure. And uh, little prick. You're an armorer, not a weaponsmith. Oh, whoa! Are there new notice board items? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Ointment for diverse ailments. Ointment for carbuncles, boils, and guts. I have I. To exchange for salted meat of such be warned, tis awful rank and noisome to wear, yet I swear it works wonders, the meal. Okay. Um hang on. Proclamation. May it hereby be known that any man shirking delivery of his feudal dues. Oh no, we we've uh, we've uh, we've read that one. Prime mushroom hunting grounds. There may be a corpse in deep wood where man never fails to find mushrooms aplenty. For proper recompense, I can show the way. Never see your young'uns cry of hunger again. Sophie. Okay. Uh, soothsayer, honest and true-sighted. I've many a year behind me and I've been through much in each. In return, the gods have granted me the gift of sight. I need but take a hand and gaze upon it and before my eyes comes a vision of what awaits that hand and its owner and all it touches. Some call it witchcraft and unnatural, this gift. But to my reckoning, it's the same as how some swim strong or play fiddle masterfully while others sputter and screech. If you don't fear knowing what fate has in store, come pay a visit to old Raksha. Okay, Bilberry. I'm going to take this uh, Raksha one. 
Maybe we should be taking all the uh, all the bits and pieces because it seems that the uh, notice boards get refreshed. So maybe does that, hey? Uh, crow's perch. What's the quickest way to get out of here, really? Oh, a little nook here. No, that is definitely not the quickest way. That is, in fact, the uh, burial site. Um, can we get out here? Oh, this may be. I oh, thought we got to swim. That's the thing. That's fine. A little dip in the water. Never hurt nobody. And let us... Oh, no, but I actually do want to get to the... Uh... Oh, the signpost is uh, right here. I just got to keep going west. Am I going west? I am. Okay, let's get to the signpost. And then we need to go to the hanged men's waypoint. I think that's what it's called. Where are you, signpost? Hang on. Oh, no, no. It's further down. I thought I had missed it already. Got their asses whipped like an elven rad whore. You surprised? They tried to dance with a witcher. Where'd he come from, anyway? Well, how should I know? You so curious? Ask him yourself. <laughs> That's kind of cool that they acknowledge uh, us. Actually, you... can we speak to them? What? No, can't. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, right, let's go to the... Uh, hanged man's tree. That's the closest we we can go. Uh, I think we have to... Oh, there's a bridge and everything. Alright, let's go there. This is uh, taking us a lot further than I thought. Oh, there are some red... Oh, it's the doggos again. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. My bad. Um, I would say leave the doggos alone, but... Uh, I want some meat. Oh, he took a chomp out of us. Okay. Done. Or not. Okay. I think the necrophage oil that we made has... Uh, completely worn off now, understandably so. So, we'll have to make more again soon. Oh, bloody hell, you came from nowhere! Oh my days, these doggos. Oh, fucking hell. I don't know, I've got a hen dog heads from our saddle. Need some water here. And, uh... I guess we'll keep going this way. Um, Roach? I think this one definitely calls for Roach. We're a little bit far away from where we need to be. Let's see. Any points of interest along the way? I think there are quite a few. But... Ooh, there's one here. Tempting. Let's do that first. Okay, let's see what's over here. Whilst it's on the way. On the way-ish, I suppose. Or at least it's very, very close to us. This is a... Is it this? No, it's not, but I want to explore this structure here. Oh, it is this. It's a wall or a stronghold of some sort. There's a hangman there. So I'll sheath our weapon here. Okay, let's see. Uh, is there an entrance here? There's a quest here. To do oh, what to do? Another one of you Helps lost. Of survivors. Hello. Eternal fire, guide me. I implore you. Uh, you wait. Step back. I'm no warrior. Help! Anyone help? <laughs> Easy now. Not in the habit of murdering priests in need. No priest. I'm a deacon. Just two months out of seminary. On my first mission. It wouldn't be right to kill a deacon on his first mission. Hmm. Oh my, your eyes. Yellow and those pupils. I have read about this. You're a witcher. Well, clearly no feral cat or grass snake, so... 
In point of fact, a grass snake's pupils are circular, not slitted. But mm. never mind that. Please help me. If they breach the gate, a pestilence will be upon us. Who's they, though? Uh, a priest asking a mutant for help. Desperate times call for a witcher, huh? Thought your church frowned upon our kind. Mutants. A mistake common in our ranks, alas. I discussed it at length with my mentor. All are capable of doing good in this world. Genetic aberrations or not. Hmm. You sure you're a priest of the eternal fire? Hmm. Okay. Uh, what happened here? All right. But got a question first, priest. How's a witcher fight a plague? I misspoke. Not the plague. Its source. The Devil's Pit, this mine, has long been used as a, well, a place to sequester the hopelessly sick. An isolated haven for the afflicted. A den to die in. Believe those are the words you're looking for. I'm not proud to admit it, but how else is the Scarlet Fog to be withstood? An incurable pestilence that spreads with the fury of wildfire? Mm. You condemn these people to a horrible death or you had no choice, that's clear. I feel like they're doing the best thing they can do, you know? I feel. It's not great, it's horrible, in fact, but... Uh, yeah, what else can you do? Callous as your method is, there's sense in it. Undeniably, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. What's done is done. Now where do I fit in? Deep within the mine lies a salt cavern haunted. Someone, that is some thing, lurks there, so ancient records show. A spirit that breeds pestilence and whispers in the dark. Oh no, I think I know. Alas, a band of deserters has seized the pit. They butchered the afflicted. I was sent to urge their departure. Should they force open the mine's gate, descend into its depths? We'll have more than just Catriona to stop. Let me guess. Your warning. Deserters didn't take it to heart? Mm. If only they slew my retinue. I alone escaped. Please, you must help. I've coin to offer. They must be dealt with. The bandits and this... this vile spirit. It's a plague maiden, isn't it? I think it's a plague maiden. Um, I could be wrong, but... Uh... Tell me more about the spirit. Could be this calls for a witcher, but I'll need more to go on. This spirit, been in the mine long? Anyone actually seen it? I've seen but some of the records. Above my station, you see. As I recall, it appeared long past, after the first plague victims were brought here. The church attempted once to exorcise the ghost, but, well, I'd like to see for myself what came of it. Not exactly generous with details, were they? No. Our wards recently reported hearing whispers in the night. Pleas for mercy, but ghostly. Strange. Altogether frightening. I'm afraid that's all I know. Okay. Uh, let's discuss my reward. Let's see if we can get a higher reward here. Stakes are high, can't deny it. Hope we can agree on a fair reward. So long as you see what I have now as fair. Ooh, pretty high already. Let's uh let's go halfway. See if he gets annoyed. 250. Ooh. A reasonable request. But not one I can afford, alas. Okay, that's fine. We'll go to 235, yeah? Very well agreed. I'll need to take some from my own purse, but I believe you're worth it. Okay, fair. I will help then. So be it. I'll help. And you wait for me here, coin in hand. Of course. Under the circumstances, I can't imagine how it might be better spent. Ah, the key. It unlocks the gate to the mine. Eternal fire guide you, Witcher. Yeah, knock yourself out, Eternal Fire. Farewell. 
Okay, well, I will track uh, this quest, I think, because I would like 200. Whoa, -hoo -hoo, never mind. Uh, it's level 15. I'm level 5. Definitely not uh, level appropriate. Hang on, did we level up partway through? We did, and I didn't realize it. <laughs> My bad. Um, okay, so I think I might actually have the illusion here because it seemed to actually come in handy during conversation. So let's do that. Uh, yes. And... Oh no, I should have done something that helped with recovery. Never mind. My bad. Okay. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna come back to this later, Mr. Eternal Priest, because I'm a little bit low level for this quest. Uh, wild at heart. Funeral pyres that we still haven't actually turned in. Where is the... Uh, let me see what happens if I mark that. How far are we from turning that in? Oh! A little bit far. I should have turned in whilst we were there and we could have grabbed this notice board as well. Well, I suppose I'm not that far away. Um, I know we're supposed to do the main quest, but honestly, I wouldn't mind going here. Um, let's, uh, oh, there's a question mark inside there, but I think it's like a bandit camp or something. Right. Well, Roach, let us, uh, Let's head off. That's it, Roach. We'll come back later, priest man. Hopefully there's no like time limit or something. Oh, we have a okay, we have a waypoint. Lovely. Right. Well, let us head northwards. We'll go to that point of interest. And then we shall go turn in this quest. I don't know what the reward's going to be at this point. There was also something weird that happened with the uh funeral Run, pyres uh, quest because um, when we... Ooh, there's some enemies here. What are you? A ghoul. Aha. Uh -huh. um, where are you? You are in the bush. Maybe we'll go after that one first. Um, what is it? We found uh, someone who is still alive. Oh my. We found someone who was still alive whilst we were burning the corpse and saying that the priest uh, not double cross I don't know what the priest did did something okay ghoulie come here then okay 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 don't surround me please Oh, I think my Quen is... No, my Quen's still going. What a dodge, sir. I hate the ghoulie quick slaps, honestly. They are horrifying. I'll take all of this. I think I might be able to brew more. I didn't even, like, oil up my weapon then, just then. But these were very, very low-level ghouls. Uh, right, I think we're actually close enough that we can run to this point of interest. Yeah, we can. Roach can chill out. Let's go here. I see a lot of hanged men. Such a grim sight. Illegal to remove them as well. Isn't that going to cause a lot of issue in terms of like monsters and things like that? When they're so... Well, yeah, clearly. Because there are all these ghoulies and things around. Oh, a monster then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's all these. It's these guys. The necks. Uh, okay, you. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Okay. Come back here. Don't swallow me, though. Whoop. Oh, you like that silver. <gasps> oh my days. Okay, no, we're good. Did we get him? Did we get the one? I think we did. Okay, we gotta get the rest. Where are you going? Where are you going? Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Come here. Nope, don't do that. Don't swarm me. Don't swarm me. 
Whoa, whoa, you are the, the, you are the warrior, you're the warrior that the, that the beastery warned us about. Okay, okay, okay. Where's the warrior, where's the warrior? Oh, there you are, okay, okay, hello. Oh, why am I, why is my weapon unsheathed? Okay, no, we're fine. Warrior, come back. Come back, you warrior. Oh, you're stuck in the tree. Okay, took advantage of that a bit, at least. Okay, nice. Okay, I think we got rid of them. Oh, I did not check what we looted. I think we got a whole bunch of new items there. Uh, where's this loot? But we pay more attention to what I'm looting here. Uh, it's fine. Let's loot this. Blue mutagen. Green mutagen. Okay, okay, okay. And we have a, a cave entrance. Oh my, this is a bit of a grim sight. Maybe it's a, a small one. Candle lantern. Okay, I don't know what that is. I do wish we could get like a little lamp or something that we could hook onto our waist. <gasps> Loot, hello. Whoa, superior ursine armor, ursine gauntlets, ursine trousers, ursine boots. Okay. Meteorite ingots. Oil, cured leather, all of it. Any more loot here? Yeah, none. Okay, I feel like we might be walking into, yep, some kind of situation here. It's a whole ass... Holy shit, that's a lot of them. Okay, they don't they don't go past this uh threshold here. Oh, okay. Oh my days. Okay, 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 calm down, eat the apple, eat the apple. We're gonna change this to the apple juice here. Where are you, warrior? Gotta come out at some point. Oh. Yikes! Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I'm being a bit cheesy here with this strat. We're just going to go back and forth between the threshold. I don't want to get sore. Nope, we're good. Nope, no swarming, please. No swarming, please. Oh my days, don't break my shield. Okay, we're good. Oh, maybe don't just rush in. Get rid of the warrior first, I think. Okay, we're good. Almost, almost, almost. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that was a little bit scary. Not gonna lie. Oh, there you are. Oh, and there you are. Okay, one last one left over there, I think. Where is it? Where is it? Is it burrowing on the ground? I see a red dot. I see a red dot. Are you on the ground? You're right here, it says. I don't know what that red dot is, but... Uh, Maybe it's above us? I'm not sure. We're gonna loot everything here. All the all the parts. All of it. Okay, what's my carry weight looking like? Oh no, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Right. What have we got in this game? Why is there a red dot there? I don't like it. I do not like it. Oh, treasure. Resin, thread, and venel. Manuscript page, and Hans Hangman's venom. Uh, lesser glyph of Axie, lesser Vele's runestone, silk, Florence. Oh, calcium ikum. Not a bad crafting ingredient, really. Okay, nothing up here. Still trying to see. Oh, okay. Lesser Perun runestone. Take that. Oh, what's this? ingredients. What's the red though? 
What if we... But what's the red dot? Do I want to know? Maybe I don't want to know. Hmm. Does it have something to do with this pot? What if I turn off the fire here? Can I? What if I turn on the fire? Let's see what happens. Nothing really. Mm, what if I use Axie? There's nothing here, but it says it's a red dot here. No? Nothing here? Uh, what if I add? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe we have to go upstairs to, uh, to check it out. But we're going to grab this uh, mushroom also here. Which your senses are uh, saying nothing really. I want to try to turn this off. Why can't I turn it off? Uh, can I not put out this fire? <gasps> oh! There we go. No? Okay, well. Maybe we have to come back later. Doesn't seem like anything. And again, it's not... Uh, the, the cave is not grayed out. I don't know if it's something that I've missed or... <sighs> or, um, you know, or if there's something that I, I need to do. A shopkeeper? Heck yeah. Let's go see what they've got. Okay, and then we can turn in the... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Person in distress. The horse is uh, an enemy for some reason. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course. Of course. Um, let us uh, do a quen here. You, you have crossbow, dudes, don't you? Okay, I think that was like a crit attack, hey? Ooh, eat the apple. Yeah, of course, I am a witcher, man. Don't let him catch his breath. Okay. Poor son. Oh, my days don't snick me like that. Oh, you witch fucker. Oh, my days. What did you call me, sir? Okay. Curses. Okay, we need to. Uh, I think we need to axie this dude. Don't let him catch his breath. Okay, that deserves is almost done actually. Oh, there's a. Okay, of course there's a. There's an archer. Oof. Uh, okay, okay, we gotta go find this uh, archer. I think. Warlock. I'm not a warlock. Yet, I'm a witcher. Where the heck is this archer? There you are. You should have had your bow out, sir. Okay. Now we can axie you. Our hearts are light. You are alone, sir. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days. The kill cams are so brutal, but at the same time, very satisfying. A cage key. Okay, let me quick save here. Because if I die somehow, I don't want to do that again. Uh, let's loot. I wouldn't mind actually having to do it again. I'm not, uh, I'm not bothered by by those kinds of bits. Oh, hello. Oh my days. You are on horseback, sir. Don't let him catch you. <laughs> oh my days! Okay, sorry, horse. <gasps> sorry, horse! Oh my days! Go, go, horse! Run away! Don't! I'm not here to fight. I'm not here to fight. Sorry, horse. I didn't mean to hit you. 
Let's loot all this. Magic item, we'll take that. And the person in the cage. Hello. Who are you? Look from your stall by the bridge across the pond tower. Got goods for the army mostly. But I'll make an exception for you. Oh. Look from your stall okay. by the bridge across the pond tower. Cheers, Got man. Goods for the <gasps> army Ooh, mostly. look at this loot. I'll make an exception a ma for a you. battle axe, magic item, white wolf hide, amateur's armor repair kit, and uh, some assassin boots. I'll take that. Sulfur. Okay. And. Oh, oh, more loot here. Alchemy paste. Useful, I'm sure. Um, nothing in this crate. Let's see. No loot. No more loot to be had anyway. Oh, maybe some here. Okay. Alchemy paste. More stuff here. Fucking hell. Dwarven spirit. Yeah. Alchemy paste. Okay. Oh. Something happened here. Um, right. Well, we've cleared that out. Oh, we are so close. But we are also so close to the notice board. Okay, we'll do that. We'll, we'll turn in the quest first. I'll never finish what I want to do. Right, let's go uh, look for this priest. I think that's them over there. Let's question what happened at the, uh, when we saw that guy. Hello, priest, sir. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Yes, I have. Uh, why hadn't anyone burned the corpses earlier? Why do you priests take an interest in the fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? Hmm. Okay, well, we took care of the graves. So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive and pretty talkative. What do you mean? Hmm. Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you for all time, exclusively. Oh, hoo, hoo. <sighs> I'm gonna go. I don't take bribes. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Okay, well, well. Let's go for our Quen here. Okay, you probably need better guards. And he, he just went down in one swing. Fucking hell. You really did need better guards. I hope your gold's on you, man. Because I did not get paid for that. Oh, <laughs> now I have 200 crowns and a mace as well. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Yes, don't bribe me. Uh, I may accept a bribe or two depending on the situation, but... Uh, not from a land like that. Okay, so we have a little bridge down here. Uh, I am hoping... I'm gonna go here. I am hoping that we will get a... Um, a signpost there. I still... I wish I knew there was a way to like... How I could clear that up. Because then we had another cave. Where was the other cave? Near the pillar. There. Entrance to a cave of ruins. Yeah, I don't know how to clear up this uh, monster then here. But at least it's marked on our map so we can go later. Let's go to this marker here. And uh, hopefully there will be a signpost for trouble. Once we go by that area. Oh, are these people? If oh, a man okay, friendly. Okay, it's a, it's a roving camp of some sort. Oh my days. Oh, whoa, there, there's a lot happening here. What is this place? People are lining up to get in there. Do we have a, a signpost here? 
Okay, missing Georgie Lessig. Georgie Lessig, if you make it to this camp, be sure to leave a message. I don't know how much longer I'll stay, but perhaps we'll meet. Don't look for your dad. He's dead. Make yourself known, son. Mum. Oh, my days. Family missing. Name's Bert Smith. Born in Meaton in Lower Tamaria. Looking for my family. We got separated on our way north. Food rations. All refugees are to report to the quartermaster. He will distribute food ration cards. These shall entitle the bearer to one meal per day. We have a contract here. Woodland beast. Let the following be known far and wide. There's some monster in the woods outside Novigrad doing great damage to our war effort. Anyone who tracks it down and kills it will not only fulfill a patriotic duty and bring the inevitable victory of the United Northern Forces under the leadership of our brave king Radovid one step closer but will also get a sizable coin reward as recompense for his trouble together onward to victory kept Felix Grubb Addendum notes the reward has not yet been claimed. Addendum attention. If the monster is not killed by the end of the present month, taxes for the entire region will be raised by one fifth. Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, burying the dead. The camp commander has ordered that the dead be buried only in designated burial sites. Burying bodies near the transit camp might contribute to the spread of plague. Any bodies buried in unallotted ground will be exhumed and cremated. Help good people. Is there a dropped drink in the shithole of a camp? I've crossed half the world or maybe even the whole damn thing and I've never been to a place this dry. It's enough to drive a man to violence. If anyone's got some hooch hidden away, let him call my name Audrin. Oh, we've, we've heard this name. Like that and I'll find him and together we'll have a grand old time. Help an old campaigner before he turns as parched as a rain, rain bucket in the desert. Uh, okay. Well, well. Let's see if we can find a uh, woodland. Okay, we got the woodland beast contract. Let's see if we can find a um, a signpost so that we can come back here. I don't see anything. I would have hoped that would be one. No. No. No way to fast travel here. Maybe across the bridge then. Let's have a peek. Uh, I feel like this is a key location or a key spot. Kind of weird to not have a signpost around here. Let's, uh, let's cross the bridge. Fucking hell, it's crowded. Maybe if we can get. Oh! No passage. Bridge is closed. Because. Because King Radovid said it should be. Won't let anyone through who don't have a pass. Okay. Um, oh, we do have a pass. How do I get a pass? Who issues these passes? Why, you need to know. Your kind don't get the passes anyway. Not the right time. <laughs> oh, it would be good to rub it in his face. Um, oh, okay. I'm sure we can figure something out or just tell me who issues passes. Come on, give it a good think. I'm sure you know where I can get a pass. Uh, yeah. Royal officials issue them. But they're also available on the black market. From who? Don't know the names. Ask folk around the crossings. They'll know more. Do just that. Farewell. Okay. Do we not have a pass from Baron? We'll chat about it I suppose not. Uh, well, I really am surprised that we don't have a. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, citizens. Uh, that we don't have a waypoint to this uh, camp. Maybe I've completely missed it. The waypoints are not very um, obvious, are they? Uh, let's see. Maybe we can keep looking up the road and we'll find one. I'm sure there must be one here. Is it because it's too close to the hangman's tree? Maybe. Yeah, it might be that. I can't, yeah, it feels like this place is good for a waypoint, especially with the notice board there. Either way, either way, I think, as much as I would love to keep going, I think we're going to have to call it here. Because, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go find a waypoint after this. And then uh, there's also, I see that's a quest giver right there. So we're going to go speak to them in the next session. But for now, we are going to save our game right here. And we're going to call it 
call it here for today's session and this is episode four of our first playthrough of the witcher 3 wild hunt on death's march holy hell this is a it's a really 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 good game i i do enjoy it hang on let me make sure that we've saved there brilliant we're gonna click to the main menu here uh what a great game uh, the writing is amazing. The acting is really bloody good. I can really... I know I've said this before, but I think it bears repeating every session because every session it gets better. And I find myself looking forward to every session. Or oh, like the next session. Like and Now I'm already looking forward to when I will be able to play it next. And um, I can understand why so many people have raved about this game and why it's topped so many lists. It's just, it's really bloody good. It's a, it's a good, it's a good time. Um, but yeah, before I ramble on any further, let me give the biggest shout out to our members, the lovely YouTube Boglins, and a thank you to everyone for the support. And of course, for keeping me company on our adventures. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to hit that like button and share any comments that you have. Uh, I would ask that you do not post any spoilers. I would appreciate it. And of course, I do try my best to read and reply to every comment that is posted. They may be uh, a little bit speedless, the replies, but I'm not the speedless queen otherwise. If you enjoyed our speedless shenanigans, do consider subscribing to the channel and keep your eyes peeled for the next video. This series will have weekly updates and we have other playthroughs happening in parallel as well. If you're interested, all the links will be in the video description below. Hello. Thank you so much for your time and for joining me today. Take care, be good, and don't forget to brush your teeth. I'll see you soon. Bye.